going on guys? This is Jimmy Bailey, bringing you today's episode of Morning Mission. Today we're playing a little bit of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I, um, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I figured I was bored, I just beat Bloodborne and I wanted something a little less, uh, I don't want to say challenging, but a little less stressful. <laughs> um, Bloodborne's great nonetheless, but definitely a little bit stressful. Um, I also wanted to announce, let you guys know, um, that I'm going to be collaborating with a friend named Dylan. Uh, Dylan is the one that got me into Bloodborne. He's actually probably the reason that I kept playing. If it wasn't for Dylan, uh, you know, explaining things to me and helping me through it, I probably would have quit after the first level. Um, so yeah, Dylan's a great guy. He's oh, got a vast knowledge of games. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he came up with the idea that, you know, he wanted to try doing reviews and such, so I figured, hey, you can help out on my channel. We can do this together. So, uh... Oh, wow. Are they fighting each other? Oh, now I just started a fight with a royal ship. <laughs> but yeah, so... So Dylan, uh... You know, was looking to try his hand at, at reviewing. Doing a video review and stuff like that. So, I figured, hey, you know, you can try to do it with my channel. So, we'll be posting Dylan's Bloodborne review... Bloodborne video review first. And then, uh, if you guys like that, he's going to continue doing more videos. So, hope you guys welcome Dylan with open arms, and, uh, I really think you're going to enjoy his, uh, Bloodborne review. And on top of that, him and I are going to collaborate on Handsome Jack Collection of Borderlands. Um, he's going to do his, his review, review on, uh, on, uh, a couple different games. So, it's, it's going to be a good time. He's going to stick mainly to the PS4, and... I'm just gonna keep doing my main thing, my 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 morning missions and and collaborating with him here and there. It's gonna be a good time. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys. Oh. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, check out the videos when they're posted. I really hope you guys are gonna like them. Hey. So, down to our deaths, Captain. yeah, I understand we can't go that way. Best not fail into that tempest. Oh my god, I gotta go slow now. Alright, what's the best way around? Alright, we'll just keep going this way. Rolling around the, uh, going around the island. That thing's chasing me. Damn. Yeah, I could not believe that I beat Bloodborne. It was... <laughs> it, it really felt good, too. You know what? People always said, Oh, you know, when, when playing Bloodborne or Dark Souls, you'll you'll get addicted to that feeling of beating a boss and it, it's really it really is true because you know I beat like I think there's 15 bosses total and a few like three of them are, are optional um, and it just feels so good when you beat them so good when I beat that last boss and I beat the game oh my god did I I cheered I, I, it was audible I was I was yelling and everything. Everyone that lives with me downstairs was like, what is going on? Now, everyone's asking, now that I beat Bloodborne and I enjoyed myself, am I going to try my hand at Dark Souls 2? Um, I'm not going to buy it at first. I think Dylan's going to buy it and Dylan's going to do a review of it. So I may try Dylan's copy. Um, you know, see if I enjoy it. But... Uh, I'm worried that I'm not going to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Bloodborne, just because it's a different, everyone tells me it's a different type of combat, um, and I think the the thing that kept me going on Bloodborne was the combat, so, um, so yeah, I, we'll see, but most likely, uh-oh. Muzzle that duck my get the screen! Most likely I'm just not, I'm going to stick to the games I play. And, let Dylan do his Dark Souls thing. It's funny, the story behind Dylan is I, um, when I, I met him because I, when I worked at GameStop, he came in as a customer a lot. And when he'd come in, 
he talk about Dark Souls all the time because he, you know, he's a huge fan of the Souls series. So when he'd come in, he'd talk about Dark Souls. So my nickname for him was was Dark Souls. So when I describe him to other employees, I'd be like, "Oh, Dark Souls came in." <laughs> do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon. And we want her for the advantage you bring Nassau. Nassau. Put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay. This is one of my note sheets from Bloodborne. So <laughs> unified. That's how involved the game gets. <laughs> I was writing down statistics of like, oh, how powerful my weapon, or how powerful my weapon attack is, how powerful this is. Alright, so we're going to try to stay out of combat for the optional mission, but usually it doesn't work out. Alright, reach the jungle's exit. Is this the first time we meet the assassins? It might be. I feel like I got. I feel like this was confusing the first time I played. Yeah, I feel like I got lost in this level. We'll see. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously you guys can tell I'm really excited about Dylan joining the channel. Um, I think it's only gonna bring more varied content and. I really, really hope we get some more supporters. I think it's going to be a great, great addition. I mean, it can't hurt, so. Well, that was cool how the camera shifted. Oh! That was cool, I liked it. Yeah, I like this game a little bit more than Unity. Um, Assassin's Creed Unity was fun, but it was bare-boned. Um, you know, I mean, obviously a lot of people didn't like naval combat, so, you know, that not being there didn't really affect most people. I wish there was some aspect of naval combat. I'm really excited to try Assassin's Creed Rogue. You know that they're gonna put it out on uh, next gen eventually. And, um, so I'm excited to try Rogue, and then I'm also excited for the uh, two and a half or whatever, 2.5 Two and a half D side scrolling, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed that are coming out. They're calling it Assassin's Creed Chronicle. I guess it's gonna have three games. Um, oh, well, I don't need the iguana skin. I'm gonna say I could hunt, but they're gonna blow up my spot if I shoot. Alright, oh, I remember what it was last time. I kept getting caught. That's what happened in this level. My first playthrough of this, I ended up doing it a hundred times because I was going for the hundred percent. You know, I wanted a hundred percent everything. And I remember I kept getting caught. Now I don't mind if I get caught. I'll just power through it. Oh, I thought... Good thing nobody was there. I thought that was a tall bush. Hopefully that counts as staying out of combat. He almost saw him. Or he did see me, but... Alright, let's plan this out. Where's this guy? He's up here somewhere. Oh, oh my god. I want to hunt so bad. 
but I can't hear anybody or have anybody hear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really trying to hunt stuff while I go because I want to get, uh, you know, upgraded my, my holster and stuff. But I keep catching myself because I normally run as a completionist when I play a game, so I try to get everything done. You know, I, you know, I try to be uh, productive, you know, as productive as possible, trying to get, like, 100%, you know, the mission so I don't have to do it again. But... I forget. I keep forgetting, especially with this game. Like, I played this. This is my third playthrough now, or fourth playthrough almost. Um, so I, I'm not really playing it to complete it. I'm, I'm playing it just for the fun. I, I probably won't even beat it. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just playing it to, to have fun until something, you know, more enjoyable comes. So I'm gonna be playing Handsome Jack Collection with Dylan, doing the co-op review on that. As well as uh, Axiom Verge, I've been playing that lately. That game's awesome. If you got, oh shoot! If you guys are into Super Metroid, you are going to love Axiom Verge. Axiom Verge is amazing. Um, I really hope it comes to the Vita. I think it is eventually. It's it was developed in by one man. Um, they have a two-man studio. Uh, I think the other guy does like the PR and stuff. But by two people running a whole game, it, it's, it came out amazing. So, I think they're going to port it to uh, the Vita. You know, with two guys, it might take a little bit long, longer than usual. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's the perfect game for the Vita, man. It's a uh, Metroidvania, you could call it. It feels just like Super Metroid, though. It's uh, 17.99 right now on uh, on sale with PS Plus. All right, so we gotta go that way. Wasn't I already here? Don't tell me I'm doing circles, man. Nope, okay, we're not. Wanted to get the big guy. Ah, shit, they're both coming. Damn it. It's funny how he's drunk. He's acting drunk, and then as soon as I whistle, he's all sobered up. <laughs> oh! Nice! I didn't even mean to get both. I love being stealthy, man. This game does a good job of making you feel badass. Ah, oh, I hate the freaking snipers. Big guy, then two more over there. And the sniper, of course. Where's the sniper? Oh, I want a whistle. Come on, I want a whistle. Damn it. Because there was two bodies there, one adult dude. After I get this big guy, I want to uh, 
want to get the sniper, but... Damn it, there's no... Crap, there's a sniper. I'm gonna have to go that way. Maybe we can get the sniper first. Oh, no, damn it. God darn sniper. Got to go quick, that sniper moving quickly. From above. There you go. Come check it out. And die. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to kill you. a big jungle. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. He almost caught me. Can't wait till I get the blowgun. The blowgun helps so much. Like him, I could just easily hit him with a blow dart. Damn it. Nice. Well, so much for staying out of uh, <laughs> combat. Lots of stuff blowing up. Oh, here they all are. I just like to kill everybody. Oh, how do you see me? Right through the forehead. Let's just fight them all. Oh! Ready, I'm gonna disarm this guy. Weapon away, then slice him. I wonder, this game, this game's gotta be rated mature, right? I mean, it's got blood and <laughs> slit and throat. Hey, 
Just standing there while I slid him. Dude, hit back! They all just. That was a little too easy. <laughs> hey, this guy's just standing there. What's up, buddy? Guys throwing a grenade and stuff. Yeah. Give me my bullet back. Can't you reload? I forgot you reload. I just jumped on him and he didn't even turn around. <laughs> okay, my target. Everyone's my target. Doing the pressing Y to to, to uh, counter, you know, like in Batman. Oh no! I need to heal. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Peter, as bold as a musket ball, and still <laughs> half as sharp. Oh. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After I all you have you. seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. Ah. What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. All right. The cove is ours. Yeah. All right, guys. That's today's morning mission. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like usual. We do weekly giveaways. Every Sunday I give away $20. Um, I'm going to be doing something special this week since uh, Dylan is joining the Morning Mission team. Um, he's going to be doing some reviews, stuff like that. I want you guys to check his videos out. Um, so for everybody that subscribes and um, you know watches Dylan's video, if you, if you watch Dylan's video and leave a comment, we're gonna give you a um, we're gonna do a giveaway for the guys that that comment on Dylan's video so I'll make an announcement for that during his video as well but um I'm not gonna announce it otherwise that way you know we get people that really stick to this channel so I want to reward the people that have watched my channel from the beginning and watch my channel every day so if you've watched this video to the end and now you're gonna go watch Dylan's video to the end um, you're entered for a giveaway. Alright guys, have a great day, and remember, keep on gaming. Peace.